Pregame.com. Pregame.tv breaking down nat the National Football League. A little glitch on the days. All right, there's no Monday night game. There's a Saturday game. There's a Sunday game. Saturday night. The Saturday game is somewhat of a night game here. Certainly in Las Vegas, it'll still be the afternoon, but 4.30 local time here. The Men of Steel hosting the G-Men. Mike Tomlin's crew been very good in the preseason, 19 and 6 off a disappointing year, as was the Giants. Hurricane Sandy trashed them a little bit. Let's start VR. These teams going to bounce back this year. I know you like the Men of Steel. I'm high on, on the Steelers. I'm real bullish on, on the Pittsburgh Steelers this year. I love the fact that we're here in rebuilding and transition because this is the Pittsburgh Steelers. That doesn't happen. They've gone 13 consecutive years where they have not missed the playoffs. Back to back. Back to back seasons. They have a head coach who not only wins preseason, but has won 65% of the games he's coached straight up. I really don't see much of a regression. You keep hearing about they're replacing players, they're replacing players, they're replacing players on defense. Listen, they've been doing that for the last Number few one, years. Number one, last two years. Exactly. Yards and four out of the last six. And one of those six years that they weren't, they were number two in yards allowed. So they've been one or two in five of the last six years. It's the system. It's not the players. It's the players they put into the system that gets it done. So I don't believe them losing these guys is really going to make this team continue to fall backwards. They are not an 8-8 eight eight team. This is a 10-win football team. You know, team. they actually beat these Giants last year to go to 5-3. and three. Then they went to 6-3. and three. Then Big Ben went down. They lost two in a row with uh, the Byron left. Which exactly. Charlie Batch. Who had no business either of them. They had to rush Ben back and against San Diego. Wasn't ready to play. The season was lost. Um, Brian, do you get involved with preseason? I do. And that the problem I have is we're taping this on Tuesday and the game's on Saturday. And most of what I do in the preseason all comes off of information. Hey, you got the day right at least. I didn't get the, well, it's because you told oh, us. Of earlier. the rotation and all that? Yeah, it's just to me. To me it's too early for us to go early. the quarterback rotation. Too, yeah, so yeah. No. coaches aren't yeah. giving yeah. it up. Yeah. Coaches aren't correct. giving it correct. up. Correct, correct. Some aren't even telling you who's starting. Correct. So that, that's, that's a concern anytime we're doing these videos in the preseason. It's not like the regular season where we know what's going to happen. Um, but you, you, made a, you made a point about the system at Pittsburgh. In fact, at the Tuesday meeting today, you made, you made a point on there's certain teams that it's a system thing and Pittsburgh's been that way. You know, the Giants have been pretty good for a while, too. Yeah, they have. They have. Uh, so these are two teams. You basically know what you're going to get depending on who's going to play. And as you pointed out, uh, I believe the last four years, Steelers were 12 and 4 against the spread and straight up 11 and 1 at home or something like that. I mean, they're very good in this regard. Yeah, well, in, in preseason, Tomlin has, has taken this seriously. They're 19 and 6 straight up. And I just look at the straight up record, and I know it would be a little bit worse against the spread. They can win by one. But one thing that really stood out to me, I did looked into um, a little more uh, information. When they go on the road, the road opener, the Steelers are 1 and 8, their last nine on the road. So what that tells me, and the more I, th I thought, about this the more it made sense to me San Diego's of the world the um, the Atlanta's of the world maybe Atlanta's not such a good example the Jacksonville's of the world they don't care about their football team the first you know the, in the preseason but Pittsburgh's such a blue collar kind of town you know lunch pail yeah. solid effort they're going to take all the games seriously when they're playing at home and and that really swayed me and I, I said wow the fact they've been so bad when they hit the road you know and it, they really want to the fact that they had a bad year I think even more reason they're going to come out swinging I think laying two I hate laying two in the preseason because you know they they can win by that one because of the two-point conversion, but I still uh, I I got to look at the past records and Tomlin looking to bounce back as being the right side. I agree, and, and I think the Wallace going is, is one of the best things because I think they're fine at wide receiver. If you look, they got Emmanuel Sanders. They got Antonio Brown. They drafted that Marcus Wheaton kid. And then on the bench, you got Contry and Plaxico. You know what I mean? They're good fourth and fifth. Yeah, I saw Plaxico was like third They're on the number one wide receiver. He's number three on the number one. So exactly. He's way down on the depth chart. Ex you know? Yeah, and that's good to have that kind of, of receiver there to teach the younger guys. You know, if anything, that's what a good backup quarterback's there for. Someone with a lot of years' experience if you have a new quarterback into the system I think they're going to be fine on offense and I love they got that running back bell kid he's one of the favorites for offensive rookie of the year they're going to have a running game this year they got a, 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 if Ben stays healthy the last time Ben played 16 games they won the Super Bowl he's only done that one time in his career and they won a Super Bowl sure. I think this offensive line this year is going to keep them healthy 
a, you got a Pro Bowl center in Pouncey. You got, uh, what is his name? De Castro healthy, finally. He was the big name that they wanted. And finally, he's healthy. I think they're loaded. And defense, you don't even have to talk about it. It's sure. the Pittsburgh Steelers. And, it's, and I like the fact that the system, you know, it being a preseason game, the system should work. And I just, and also I noticed that they trended to the under as well, which makes sense that their defense always works in yeah. preseason. Yeah. So um, I think they can uh, find a way to win this one by seven to ten points. You like it, Brian? Without knowing how long people are going to play, I can't make a comment right now, but that's the side I'm looking I'm yeah. aiming towards. Let it me go way. ahead and make it official. Okay, it's Tuesday. It's 100 degrees. We don't know what the weather's going to be like for this game. We don't know what the quarterback rotations are, so it's still a lot of uncertainty. I'm going to go on the historical track record. Tom went doing very well. There's one thing I know in preseason when a coach, not Tom was certainly not on the hot seat, but when a coach has a bad and a disappointing year, all the more reason he's going to put an emphasis on winning preseason games starting on the right foot. Let's look for the Steelers to go ahead and get this home win against the Giants. Maybe a different story when they head week two to Washington, make turn right around and play against them. But for now, we're on them week one. It is a free play. Pittsburgh Steelers minus two. I like it. We're, like it. we're two and zero. Oh. Ready hope. to go. If we go, if we go zero and two, I'll get get all kinds <laughs> of te terrible comments. So we're going to keep talking NFL here at pregame TV. Uh, VR is going to break down the Houston Texans. Are they going to go over ten wins or are they going to go under ten wins? Stay with us. Pregame TV.